Oh no, what's going on here? All right. Good evening. How's everyone?
I'll be starting soon. I'm just uh, setting things up a bit. So I'm going to uh, be continuing a drawing that I started, I don't remember when, maybe it was uh, Friday? No, it wasn't yesterday, was it? No, it wasn't yesterday, I think. I think it was uh, Thursday that I started it. You know, someday I'll uh, have a proper office to do this in, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about being in cramped spaces and having issues setting up good camera angles and lighting and all that. It'd be a lot easier if I had space. Just got to bring up my camera controller and uh, we will begin. I'm so excited guys. I hope you are too. Save. Yes, it's saved. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. That's good, I guess. Alright, so yeah. It's just, uh, this drawing wasn't originally anything at all, but I 
sort of to have a better idea of what it would be the more I worked on it. And then I had to stop streaming because I had to go to work. And, uh, so yeah. I, was, uh, I had basically an entire day and a half to think about what I wanted to do with this, where I wanted to go with it. So I thought I would uh, start fresh today by opening a new pack of pens. Well, I've tried these before. In fact, that's what I used to start this drawing. <coughs> and uh, they're uh, this brand. Let's see. I don't know if it'll focus. Probably not. I don't think I have it set to autofocus. But anyway, they're uh, Stettler. Uh, 0.3 millimeter. And uh, it's just black ink. Let's see, I'll uh, read off the little bullet points for you. Ergonomic triangular barrel. Super fine metal clad tip. Dry safe. Can be left uncapped for days without drying up. And water based assorted ink colors. But it's not assorted, it's they're all black. This uh, this uh, particular bit is all black. Anyway, I like these a lot. They actually are really comfortable. I like the way the uh, triangular barrel fits in my uh, fits between my fingers. So yeah. I felt like the ink in my other pen was uh, running out, so I was like, ah, oh, well, I know that I'm going to be continuing on later on, so let me prepare a little better. So yeah, I think uh, in a way, everything that we ever see or experience becomes part of our subconscious. and will eventually blossom forth later on in unexpected ways. For example, I thought this originally came out of nowhere, that I just created this from scratch, and uh, I was actually slightly mistaken. It, was, it did have inspiration, and that inspiration was from Magic the Gathering. So, I won't go into too much detail about it, but basically, there are these creatures known as Kami, which is Japanese for God. And they have very abstract shapes in the material world, because obviously, being gods, they don't normally have physical bodies. So, yeah. No, I don't know if this would be a specific deity but you know I started drawing clouds well I started with the mouth and I was like you know what a disembodied mouth is pretty creepy but what could I do to make this creepier and then I was like ah got it hands so I was like alright 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 disembodied hands and a mouth that's pretty creepy. Let me draw an eye too. And sure enough, it started coming together, and I was like, "Oh, but I need something to help connect these things. What could I do to make these things more cohesive and coherent?" And um, so I was like, "You know what?" I saw Peter draws, draw some clouds that I really like, especially with his uh